And today, well, this is Francisco from Wondershare Dr. Phone. And sometimes we can come across issues with FaceTime and they can be rather problematic. However, in this video, we're going to be talking about 11 FaceTime issues along with some solutions to get your communications back to 100%. So let's go ahead and dive right in. And make sure to leave us a like and also don't forget to comment any of your questions down below as we would love to answer them. And now don't forget to share this video with others and most importantly subscribe for more content just like this. Now let's get right into it. Issue number one, FaceTime simply is not working. Now the problem is usually caused by not having the latest update on your device. So FaceTime devices faced some issues in the past owing to expired certificates which were fixed in an update. And the solution that could just be to go ahead and check and make Make sure that all of your FaceTime devices are up to date on the software end. If not, go ahead and update them and you should be pretty good to go from there. Issue number two, updated FaceTime still isn't working. And sometimes the reasons for software not working are not really as complicated as we might think. So take a deep breath and analyze what might be wrong with your device's settings or, or permissions that may be causing this error. Now, the most common cause of this issue is that FaceTime was never enabled on your device for the first time, hence resulting in its inability to actually function. And the solution to this is to go straight into your settings and then FaceTime, and then you're going to see a little slider. Go ahead and enable FaceTime app from there and you should be pretty good to go. Issue number three, FaceTime calls keep failing. There are several different reasons which can lead to failure in making a call. Now these include the unavailability of FaceTime in your country, a weak internet connection, or having a disabled FaceTime on your device. Other reasons may also include having a restricted camera or FaceTime in your iPhone accidentally or otherwise. And the solution could just be to go into your settings and then FaceTime and then check if FaceTime is enabled. And if not, go ahead and enable it. However, if it was already enabled, and by disabling it first and then enabling it again, you can get away with that fix. And then go back into your settings and general and restrictions and then check if the camera and FaceTime have been restricted. And if the problem persists, switch off your iPhone and then switch it back on again. And then that should take care of your issues. Issue number four iMessage is waiting to be activated. This is a very common problem that results from incorrectly setting up the time and date settings on an invalid cellular or Wi-Fi connection. So users who are facing this problem end up getting a message that says something along the lines of iMessage is waiting for activation, only to get iMessage activation failed shortly afterward. So the solution could be these steps coming right up. Just make sure that your Wi-Fi cellular connections are valid and active. Moreover, I just go ahead and verify that your Apple ID is to go like just to see if it is valid and then check your date and time uh, to make sure that they're all accurate in your settings. And then go to settings, messages, and then toggle iMessage on and off. And if the problem persists, switch off your iPhone after doing so and then switch it back on again and that should take care of that issue for you. Issue number five, you keep getting a FaceTime sign in error and getting an error while trying to activate FaceTime saying could not sign in or something along the lines, please go ahead and check your network connection and try again. You know, like messages like that. And this dangerous looking problem is actually caused by some very basic issues like an Apple ID that does not follow the standard format of an email address. The weak internet connection can also be a cause of the FaceTime sign in error. If your Apple ID is not in the standard email format, just go ahead and convert it into one and then get a new Apple ID from there. And then try going ahead and signing in with your new Apple ID and it's just going to easily get you signed in to FaceTime from there. Now you can go ahead and change your DNS setting to Google's public DNS. Like for example, 8.8.8.8 or 8.8.4.4. Then just try signing into FaceTime after that and then you should be pretty good to go there. Issue number six. Now you can't connect to a person over FaceTime. The most probable cause of not being able to connect to another person on FaceTime or reach anybody else over FaceTime is usually actually accidentally adding them to your blocked list. Now, so just go ahead and head into your settings, your FaceTime, and then blocked, and then check if the desired contact appears on the blocked list, and if so, just go ahead and unblock them by tapping on the red icon, 
right next to their name or phone number and then you should be good to go from there issue number seven not being able to receive iMessages on iPhone. Everything seems okay, but you're still unable to receive iMessages specifically on your iPhone. While this may have been caused due to a faulty network setting, which can easily be dealt with using the method explained coming right up. Enter your settings, then general, and then reset. And then in the middle, you can just go ahead and click on reset your network settings. I don't let the iPhone do its thing. And once your iPhone restarts your network, I just should go back to normal, and then you should be able to use iMessage without any kind of issues from there. Issue number eight, FaceTime just refuses to work on iPhone. If you're still having issues with FaceTime, time on your iPhone, it is about time that you did an in-depth examination of the problem. So go ahead and turn off your FaceTime and then enter airplane mode. And now go ahead and turn on your Wi-Fi and turn on FaceTime yet again. And then disable airplane mode right after that. And if prompted to enter an Apple ID, just go ahead and do it. And then shortly after your FaceTime, we'll begin working on your iPhone just fine. Issue number nine ported carrier FaceTime issues. So switching carriers on an iPhone can also sometimes result in problems with FaceTime working. If such case occurs, contact your carrier and inform them of that issue. And in most cases, changing the SIM card actually ends up solving that issue for you very easily. So we do recommend that you try that. Issue number 10, your FaceTime does not work in your country. Some countries like Saudi Arabia do not have FaceTime access for iPhone users. And if you are in any such country like it and then you might need to look for some alternatives as in most of the cases here because the iPhone supplied such regions also do not have the FaceTime app pre-installed in them and they can't really gain access to it and even if they did they wouldn't be able to use it. And lastly issue number 11 missing FaceTime app. FaceTime is not available all across the globe. Therefore, the FaceTime app does not come pre-installed on all iOS devices. Therefore, if FaceTime is not available in your country, you will not have a pre-installed FaceTime app. Unfortunately, there is no real workaround for this. And all that users can do is just go ahead and check their device's origin of purchase in order to see if they'll be having the FaceTime app or not. So even after implementing uh, these solutions, chances are that there could be an issue with your iPhone altogether. And in this case, you can just go ahead and take the assistance of Dr. Phone System Repair that can resolve all kinds of problems with your phone, including the FaceTime related issues. There are going to be two dedicated modes in Dr. Phone System Repair. Those are going to be standard and advanced. While the advanced mode will take more time, the standard mode will make sure that your device's data would be retained almost no matter what. And the application can also update your device to a stable or more recent version of iOS while it's added it without any kind of data loss. To begin with, you just have to launch the Dr. Phone System Repair Tool application on your computer and then connect your iPhone to it. And now you can go over to the iOS Repair section from the sidebar and pick between the Standard or Advanced Mode. And at first, we're going to want to go the Standard Mode as it won't cause any kind of data loss on your device. To proceed, you just need to enter some pretty specific details about your iPhone, like its device model, or the compatible iOS last version for at this current time and then afterwards and look you can just sit back and wait for a little while as the tool would download the firmware update for your device and it will then verify it with your iphone model and it might take a little while as so go ahead and sit back and just relax and that's why it is recommended to simply wait for the process to be completed and not disconnecting the device in between no matter what and in the end when that's done now the application will let you know once the firmware has been downloaded and then you can just click on fix now and just let the application update your device and in no time your iPhone would be restarted in the normal mode and Dr. Phone will let you know by displaying the following prompt and you can just go ahead and disconnect your iPhone and use your FaceTime on it without any issues whatsoever. Now you can also choose to perform the advanced repairing mode later on like just in case the standard mode was not the fix that you were looking for or it simply couldn't work for you by following the exact same process. And that's everything. Those have been a bunch of issues that could occur to FaceTime and iMessage and some solutions to a lot of these problems. So go ahead and leave us a like if you like this video and comment any of your questions down below. Share this video with others if you found it helpful and most importantly subscribe for more content just like this. So until next time, enjoy.